Hey, this is the Swedish Guitar Nerd, and today I'm reviewing an Epiphone Les Paul Standard. Uh, I've had a, had a lot of questions about this one, and I've even mentioned it myself in some of my some of my videos. Um, yeah, this is the slightly more high class version since it has this flamed maple top. But other than that, it's yeah, it's a regular Les Paul standard from Epiphone. Okay, let's talk about it. Um, Let's start at the tuners. We have the good, nice working Grove tuners. And this wasn't standard on uh, the Epiphone Les Pauls, um, but they made it standard uh, the last few years, and I'm very glad they did. So, well, it's not standard on the American, or, or is it now, maybe? Yeah. Um, it didn't used to be. So that's a good start. Uh, we have a mahogany neck, a rosewood fingerboard with this, um, yeah, it's a binding around the neck. And uh, we have a mahogany body with a maple, but I think it's a maple cap. Maple cap. Uh, you don't uh, really find any solid information about that so uh, this is my guess that it's a maple cap and then they put this uh, flame maple veneer on top of it it's not flame maple flamed maple all through and yeah the regular Les Paul stuff three well toggle two humbucker pickups uh, a tunomatic bridge uh, and this is the lock tone bridge uh, proprietary Epiphone thing that uh, locks the pieces of the bridge uh, in place and it yeah it's supposed to help sustain as well two volumes two tones and that's it and it comes in this uh, heritage cherry sunburst uh, which I think is made to mimic the original uh, Les Pauls. Uh, actually, many of the 1959 Les Pauls were cherry sunburst, but they faded into the beautiful color they have now. So, yeah. I'd give it an 8 for materials and hardware. As you should know by now, if you watch uh, if you watch other videos that I made, you, I don't like the uh, mahogany necks, but since they are trying to make a Les Paul standard, I suppose they have to make it that way. Uh, okay, build quality durability. Well, uh, durability-wise, as I said, I don't like the mahogany necks because they are prone to break, and this construction with this tilted headstock um, has proven to not work, so I don't know why they aren't changing it. Because um, I don't know how many people I've heard of that had had Gibson guitars and the ne headstocks are broken off. So, and it's a simple solution of adding a bit of wood here, a flute, so. Um, but other than that, uh, build-wise, it's it feels very solid and well built. Um, there are some minor flaws, though. For instance, this uh, strap thing, strap button, is not straight. I don't know if you can see that, but it's <laughs> pointing in a, dire a direction it shouldn't be pointing. Uh, and the the paint job overall isn't very tidy. Uh, it looks very good. I must say the the sunburst looks better in real life than it does in the pictures. But it's not carried out very good. Uh, it covers parts of the binding everywhere. <laughs> that's what that's how they do it. It's uh, all over the neck and all over the body. It covers parts of um, the binding. Uh, yeah, so I guess it's handmade.
That should be a selling point, I suppose. Um, you wouldn't notice from a distance, um, but you do close up, and yeah, it makes it looks can look kind of cheap. I'm afraid. Um, yeah, but other than that, there's really nothing wrong. Build quality wise, we have this beautiful. I don't like rosewood fingerboards, but. Uh, just the figuring and the colors of this one is really beautiful so but i don't like them sound wise okay build quality durability i gave it a six for the poor paint job and now i'm being um, a bit rougher because this is a more expensive guitar if this had been the cheaper uh, in the lines from epiphone then Maybe I would get another a higher number, but now it doesn't. Uh, playability, I really like this neck. It's a slimmer 60s version of a Les Paul neck. And uh, yeah, it feels very comfortable to me. Uh, well, you have with the Epiphone, you have this problem of getting to the high frets because there's so much wood in the way. Uh, um, so that's my only complaint. The frets are really good. The fret jobs are have nothing to say about those. Perfect. And uh, yeah, the medium jump of frets, yeah, make it easy to play. So this is a I don't know. Can I call the Les Paul a design fault? Um, yeah, I think I can. It's not easy to play high notes on it. So it only gets an eight, but. The neck is really good and it's really easy to play. And it came intonated out of the box. Uh, so that's a good thing, playability wise. Electronics, uh, yeah, I have nothing bad to say. Everything works uh, in contrast to many other Epiphone models. Uh, the tone loops work, uh, the volumes are great. And uh, everything else, yeah. There's nothing wrong, it's a 10. Okay, let's play it then. And as usual, I start with a clean sound.
Yeah, that was the clean sound. And um, yeah, I'll go from bridge pickup, uh, the bridge pickup to the neck pickup. And uh, since the tone knobs are working, uh, as usual, I turn off a bit of the tone knob on the neck pickup. Okay, here's a more uh, overdriven sound. <laughs> I said it's hard to get to the high frets. Uh, okay, last but not least, uh, lead sound with some delay. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, that was it. I gave it a seven for sounds, um, basically because I don't, uh, as usually with Epiphones, uh, they don't have the high end that I want. Uh, they are very mid-range uh, centered and uh, they sound kind of dull. And I, I need that high end to I don't know, make the guitar feel alive. Uh, there's nothing wrong with them. They are working and uh, they have rather high output so it's easy to drive your amplifier. And if you have a very uh, trebly amplifier then this would probably be great. Like. For instance, Marshalls are usually rather trebly, so. But on its own, I gave it a 7. So all in all, it gets a 7.8. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a good guitar. There's nothing else to say about that. But uh, my complaints have more been about the less poor design, actually. Uh, and some minor flaws construction wise but other than that it's a yeah it's a working good guitar and i will compare it to a gibson one so stay in tune for that video okay this has been the swedish guitar nerd reviewing the epiphone les paul standard see you soon <laughs>